Hi, Adam Ring with Innovative IDM. Now, a lot of people often wonder, what's the difference between constant torque and variable torque applications in relationship to variable frequency drives? Well, it's, it's really simple. If you think about as the speed varies for a given application, if the torque remains the same, regardless of the speed, then that's considered a constant torque. An example of that might be a conveyor. If a conveyor is running very, very slow, you've got a given torque with a given load. As long as that load stays the same, if you speed it up, it still requires the same amount of torque to move it. With a variable torque application, the torque actually varies with the speed. So for example, a fan or a pump it takes very, very little torque to turn a fan at a very low speed. But as that fan begins to speed up and it's pushing more air, then it requires more and more torque to push that load. And so we call that variable torque. Now typically, when we're talking about sizing a VFD, they're designed for a given amount of overload capacity in order to start a load. And so typically for a constant torque application, because it's got the full demand of torque right at the startup, they'll give you 150% of overload capacity for 60 seconds. With a variable torque, since when you start, there's very little torque requirement, we only require 120% overload capacity for 60 seconds. So if you'd like to learn more information about variable torque and constant torque applications, or other questions about variable frequency drives, please give us a call or look us up at InnovativeIDM.com. We're the home of the legendary customer experience. So if you'd like to learn more about constant torque and variable torque applications, please visit our Knowledge Center, where we have all kinds of e-learning modules, videos, white papers, catalogs, anything you could possibly imagine that's fully searchable. After all, we're innovative, the home of the legendary customer experience.